Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, welcome to another review with uh, Nate, uh, Worker Man's Vape Reviews. Uh, so today, I will be doing a review on the Aeronaut RDA. Uh, this is what's supposed to be a leak-proof RDA. Uh, I've been using it now, uh, and let me, let me clarify too, this is also, this is the clone. Uh, normally what I do, um, uh, you know, with, with RDAs costing, authentic RDAs costing, you know, 60 bucks, 80 bucks, 100 bucks, 120 bucks. Uh, if I see one that I want that's a little bit more expensive, you know, that's, that's more than 30 bucks or whatever, or 40 bucks, uh, what I do is I usually will get the clone, uh, you know, I'll get a, a, a good clone, a tobacco or a uh, Vodafone or something like that, some good cloning uh, company, I'll buy a clone, uh, use it for a while, and if I like it, uh, then I, I, I may purchase the, uh, the uh, real one. Uh, so again today, this is the clone of the Aeronaut RDA. Uh, it's supposed to have a leak-proof design. And let me take a vape off of it. And I'm using the uh, Home Wrecker 151 watt today. Um, I'll say right now too, so like I said, I've been using it for a couple weeks. Uh, definitely does chuck the clouds. It's got great uh, uh, vapor production. Great flavor, it tastes great. Uh, I have really enjoyed this. Um, I will say, I'll, I'll just go ahead and tell you right now, yes, I do plan to purchase the Authentic. Uh, the reason behind that is, um, I've, I've researched this quite a bit. Uh, I've, I've looked at the different different clones online. <clears throat> this, this clone, I uh, got off eBay for about 16 bucks. Uh, it is a good, high-quality clone. The, uh, you know, it's made of, of stainless steel. Very thick, um, built very well. It has a, it has a unique, unique design to it. Uh, if you can see, I've got a, a stage heating Clapton and Cantal, a 26 stage Cantal build in there. Uh, it's a single, single coil. Um, it is a big coil. One 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 benefit to this RDA is you can you can really uh, um, you have a lot of options as to what type of build you want to put in there. Uh, like I said, it is built kind of differently. I'll we'll dive down in a second. And I'll kind of show you how it's built. Um, but yeah, you do have a lot of options with this. Uh, for me, I think one big coil works better than using two coils. But I I, I do like it a lot. The one, one problem that I have with this, and the reason why I probably would not stick with this over the Authentic, um, if you can see, the top of my uh, mod is, is a little wet from e-juice. What it is, is the actual RDA, it, it, it won't leak out of the air holes. It's got, it's got some strange, strange air holes, if you can see that. That's, that's one airflow right there. The other one is right there. So it's kind of different, but um, it won't leak. Let me let me go ahead and show you. So yeah, let's um, let me go ahead and show you just a little experiment here. So um, let me let me also tell you. So what this comes with, uh, if you get the clone, for uh, go ahead and tell you the clone. Let me just read the specs of it uh, pretty quickly here. Um, so uh, let me also say that the that the uh, uh, the guy who started this company. From what I can see, they don't have a whole lot of products for sale. Uh, I looked at their website today, and this is pretty much all I saw was this one RDA. Um, that being said, like I said, I, I, I do really like this RDA, and I've used it quite a bit. Um, but the, uh, the guy who designed it uh, was actually trained as an aeronautical engineer. Um, this dude did stuff like uh, uh, you know, work on freaking spaceships and... Uh, you know, rockets and stuff like that. I mean, this guy is definitely all there upstairs. Uh, but anyway, um, he said that when he started vaping, he saw that a lot of the RDAs on the market uh, were, were, were kind of hampered down by limitations and a lot of them leaked and stuff like that. So he decided to try to design one, on, you know, of his own. Uh, when he came up with this design, he thought that other vapors would like it. Uh, and I think he was correct. Um, but anyway, that being said, let's let's go over the uh, specs of it. Uh, 
and and again, I, I I think he did a did a pretty good job. There's not many reviews on this for YouTube. I think this is like the second or third review that I found on YouTube. So it's a basic 22 millimeter RDA. Uh, so it sits pretty flush on any mod that you have. Um, it's made out of uh, 304 and 316 stainless steel. Uh, it does have the uh, replaceable airflow tubes, which are right here. And when we dive down in a second, I'll show you kind of what those are all about. Uh, it has the leak resistant design, uh, which I can say as long as you don't overfill it, it will not, really won't leak. Um, another great thing about it for me, I don't really use tanks. Uh, I pretty much just use RDAs and drippers. Um, I, when I first started vaping, I was all about tanks, but you know, once I got a little bit more into vaping, I, I tried drippers, and that's just all I use. Driving, working, whatever, I use drippers. So I do appreciate a good dripper that has a good design that has a deep juice well, and this one does. This has the biggest I've ever seen. Um, this is about a 10, uh, 10 mil uh, juice well, so it's 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 pretty big and deep. Um, and it has a milled-in negative post, um, so you know, and it does have an adjustable 510 connection. So if you're running this like uh, on a noisy cricket or something like that, you could use this with it. Um, so with the clone, uh, the clone specs are about the same. Uh, they both have silver plated copper adjustable 510 pin. Uh, they both come with the chuff cap, but they also come with a 510 uh, adapter. So if you don't like the big chuff, you can put the adapter down in there and put whatever 510 uh, drip tip that you like. Uh, they both have top and bottom airflow. Uh, one thing about the authentic, which the clone does not have, is the, uh, so with these tubes right here, airflow tubes, with the authentic, you get uh, these little uh, stainless steel rods. So, for example, if you want to close off this top airflow, you can push that tube out right there with the rod, put the rod in, and then it closes off the airflow on the top. Or you can do it with the bottom as well. These do not come with that. That being said, if you want to close off the bottom airflow, you can still do it just by churning, churning that, just churning the, uh, the cap to the RDA, which will close off the bottom. For me, um, you know, I don't, I don't like crazy airflow, like uh, twisted messes or anything like that. I like a good amount of airflow, but not just ridiculous airflow, like the mutation or the twisted messes. Uh, those are both a little bit too much for me. Uh, but with this being closed off, I think that, you know, for me, that it's a little bit too restricted. Uh, and if you're a cloud chaser, you're definitely going to want to go with both both of them wide open. Um, I'm more of a flavor chaser, but I still prefer both of the air, the air flows wide open. Um, so, yeah, you know, like I said, it's, uh, you know, it's got the basic, basic specs. It's mostly just the design of it that makes it different and more innovative than most RDAs out there. So let's dive down and take a look at this, but first let me show you something. So here's a uh, just a plain paper towel, and we pull the cap off this and drip this. And we use the Dragon Claws E-Juice from Big Dogs LLC, which I did a review on. <clears throat> I love it. Like I said, this is one of my favorite lines of juice. So let me see. Um, I'm going to go with, <clears throat> I'm going to say that's probably, you know, two mils, probably two mils of juice. So normally you would just do a couple drops, bam, 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 that's it. And that would be good. But I'm going to put put the cap down in here, put the tip down in there. Use that for the other side. Uh, and there actually was, <clears throat> so there was a little bit of juice um, in there when I started. So I'm going to say there was probably a mil to two mils in there when I started. I just put about another mil, mil and a half in there. Um, so, I mean, I, I definitely, you know, there's this much juice on the bottom right now. Uh, you can see the uh, air holes right there. You can see right through it. So I'm going to lay this on its side right here. Uh, let's see what I'm doing. Go. Be 
you can see that there's nothing coming out. Nothing dripping. Turn it up. Chucks. Yeah, definitely. You can see nothing leaked right there. So dry. Dry as can be. So, um, yeah, I, I, I do really like this a lot. It's very innovative. It's different. Uh, if I'm working, I can drip it. I can fill it with my pocket. I don't have to worry about it leaking all over the place. Um, and again, um, that being said, this is the clone. And with the clone, it does leak a little bit. It doesn't leak from the air, air flows, which is where you would think it would leak. It leaks because the O-rings are not, oh, they need to be a little bit thicker. Um, and so it kind of gets on the side of the, uh, of the deck right here. And then when you put your cap on it, it kind of pushes it down, which pushes the e-juice, you can see it, that pushes the e-juice down to the top of your mod. So, I mean, that, you know, that it could be something that could be fixed with bigger O-rings if you have it. I myself have probably a dozen, two dozen RDAs, so I'm going to look tonight and see if I have any bigger O-rings. Uh, and update this video if I can fix it, which, which you, like I said, you should be able to. Or you can just order the authentic, and from 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 what I know, you will not have that problem, uh, which is probably uh, what I'm going to do as well. So anyway, let's dive down and take a look at it, and we'll come back up and I'll tell you what, what I think about it, which you already know. Uh, so here we go. All right, so here we go. Uh, we're just going to take a quick look at it. I've already pretty much went over the uh, whole RDA. Um, so this is the uh, box right here for the clone. Um, Aeronaut RDA, huge bait RDA. Um, I don't know what that, that's not the name of the company that makes it. Uh, I don't really know what that is. Um, it's just a unbranded generic company from China that is making this. But um, when you get it, open it up. And that is what it looks like. Uh, you've got your RDA, you've got the um, drip tip adapter right there. So you can put any of your 510 drip tips in it. Uh, you get your little goodie bag with your little blue screwdriver, some O rings. Um, one O, there's a smaller O ring which is for the uh, uh, chuck cap. Uh, then you've got some extra screws, and that's about it. Uh, and then the RDA. So. Uh, anyway, so yep, that's it. Um, we pull it off. Get this thing off in here. There go. Um, so yep, we'll wipe it out a little bit. Yeah, I've been using it. So uh, that's it. Uh, you can pull this off. So that is your your airflow tube right there. You can see right there, it just looks like a little um, steel bar. So I'll get into focus there. Pull it back a little bit. There we go. So yeah, it just looks like a little steel bar. Uh, but when you flip it upside down, you can see it's got the little rivets in it for the air to get through, uh, right in the middle. Uh, so then this is the uh, deck. I'll wipe this off a little as well. Uh, uh, and if you can see, it's definitely different than most decks that are out there. Um, I, this is a pretty new camera. I'm not really sure on how to uh, get it to focus. I'm learning as I go. Let me just set it down here. There we go. So uh, you can see it's got a different design. Instead of the uh, posts that are standing up, it's got the two little side posts here. So you can build across. Um, which is good because it gives you a lot of uh, room to do some some crazy crazy ass builds in it. The authentic instead of having the two screws like that, it has the two two screws, but then there's a bar that goes across, 
and the bar, when you screw it down, the bar will clamp down on your wire. So you can actually even do bigger builds on the authentic. I don't, I mean, this is a pretty, pretty big size build right here. Uh, but with this and the authentic, I mean, you could do some massively huge builds and you could do like a, a twisted clap in or something crazy. I mean, you could do huge freaking builds. Um, the bottom airflow is set up just like the top. Uh, you can't really see because I've got this in the way, but uh, the little slots for the air are directly below this coil. And then... Um, you have about a half an inch on each side that's just the bar so when you lay it on its side it doesn't get into the into the air holes uh, you lay it on its side like that it won't go into the air holes it just stays where the bar is uh, that's how it doesn't leak um, you can also see if I take this stick this down and then get an idea how deep it is so it's that deep. I mean that that is deep, deep, deep. I could show you another RDA. If I, let's see. Let me get another one. So here we go. This is a Plume Veil 1.5. Uh, I'm just gonna look at the difference in the. Uh, juice tank with this, or the, I'm sorry, the, uh, the deck with this, I'll see how deep it is, so yeah, that's your average, average depth on an RDA right there, so you're talking about, you know, it looks like to be about three times the depth of a normal deck, or a normal dripper, yeah, I mean, it's it's huge. It's probably, definitely probably three times. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I do definitely like this RDA a lot. Um, I am looking into buying a authentic, uh, mainly because I, you know, the, the whole reason I got this is because it said, you know, it's a leak, leak, leak proof design. Uh, so that was pretty much the whole reason I got it. You can see that the, um, well, I don't know if you, you probably can't even notice it on camera, but these, these O-rings, they sit flush inside of this right here. Uh, all they had to do to make this 150% leak proof was to just have those come out just a little, you know, 32nd of an inch, you know, I mean, not much at all. Just have them pop out a little bit more than it, than, than they do them sitting flush it doesn't really it does pop on so I mean you can hear it snap on there it's just not it's not quite tight enough it needs to have a little bit thicker of an o-ring and this would be a perfect clone um, but you know that's you get what you pay for when you're spending 16 bucks on a clone that's what you get that's why you buy the authentics I guess so um, that's it. So let's go back up top and I will tell you where you can get this. So yep, uh, that's it. The Aeronaut RDA. I'm going to take a vape off of it. Like I said, this thing, you know, it goes 50-50. Cloud chasing, flavor chasing. Uh, whatever you're buying it for, just the, uh, the, the leak resistance. Um, either way, I think you'll be happy with it. I mean, I'm overall I'm pretty happy with the clone. Uh, the only con that I have to it is the fact that the O-rings aren't big enough. Um, that being said, you know, I, I do definitely like this enough to spend the money to get the authentic. And let me tell you about the prices. Uh, so for this right here, uh, to do the clone, you can find it on eBay for between 14 to to 16 bucks. Uh, as far as as far as far as I can see, Tobacco, Wodupo, they don't make these yet. Uh, as far as I know, it's just this one unbranded company that is making these, and I've looked all over this box, and there's no name on it. It just says Generic China. Um, but yeah, you can pick that up on eBay for 14 15 bucks. The Authentic, uh, you can get from a few different spots online, Vapor DNA, 
You can get it directly from their website, and the retail for that is $64.99. So, you know, to be an authentic uh, for $65 is not that bad, considering how innovative this is. It just depends, just depends what you want. Uh, for me, after using this phone for a few weeks, like I said, it's worth it for me to spend a little bit extra money uh, just because I can put so much juice in this and not leave so I could, you know, fill it up, you know, put a couple mils in it, take a 20 minute drive, get to where I'm going and not have to drift the whole way. Um, so yeah, I, I do definitely think it's worth it. Um, so that's it. Uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, if you do like it, please subscribe and hit the like button down below. Uh, subscribing to my channel does make a huge difference. And I will also be posting a uh, Royal Hunter review. It's also a clone. Like I said, pretty much all, all the reviews I do for RDAs will be the clones first. Unless uh, uh, it's something that I know, like, like, like the Plume Veil. I have a couple of authentics with that, uh, but I will generally do the clone first and then tell you whether or not I would buy the authentic. So um, for me, this gets two thumbs up and hope you have a good night. And if you're in New England, enjoy this blizzard that we're having right now.